sleep has long been misunderstood. Until now, with science. We know that sleep plays a crucial role in immune system function, metabolism, memory formation, emotional regulation, and psychological development. Humans can only stay awake for around 10 hours max before compulsively falling over asleep. Science has shown that rats, when subjected to total sleep deprivation, experience a 100% mortality rate within about 30 days. When sleep deprived, they may even fall asleep for mere moments, which is called microsleep, in which some brain regions power off for up to 30 seconds, which may make us forgetful or act strangely. Together, these four types of sleep are referred to as non-REM sleep. REM, or rapid eye movement sleep, is the stage of sleep in which we dream. It is a very high energy state, and we experience temporary paralysis to prevent us from acting out our dreams. These stages are cyclical and appear repeatedly throughout the night. However, slow wave sleep is most prevalent throughout the beginning of the night, because it is used to dissipate sleep pressure, the homeostatic buildup of the need to sleep throughout the day. Sleep is regulated by two different but complementary processes, sleep homeostasis and circadian rhythms. Sleep homeostasis is the need to sleep that accumulates throughout the day. The circadian rhythm is the biological clock that causes our cyclical rising and falling alertness throughout the day. If you have ever experienced a second wind around 6 p.m. or an after lunch stupor, this is your circadian clock in action. There are two major hormones of interest in the circadian rhythm, cortisol and melatonin. Cortisol is a stress hormone. It alerts the mind and body, increases metabolic activity, and suppresses immune activity. About 30 minutes after a typical wake time, there is a massive spike in blood cortisol concentration, which is triggered by the interaction between the hypothalamus pituitary gland and adrenal glands, which prepare us to handle the stresses of the oncoming day. Cortisol concentrations dissipate throughout the day without stressful occurrences, which allows us to relax enough to go back to sleep by nighttime. Melatonin, on the other hand, provides the opposite function. It prepares us for sleep. Melatonin is secreted by the penile gland in the brain and acts on many tissues throughout the body. Its exact function still eludes science, but it seems to have effects related to the secretion of other hormones, aging, and immune function. Both hormones are strongly affected by changes in light exposure, as they are regulated by the suprachiasmatic nucleus which receives constant input from photoreceptors in the retina. Everyone sleeps. I did so as recently as yesterday, and some people I know spend 25 to 90% of their lives asleep, unaware of exactly what is happening. I hope that this sheds some light on the mystery.